for my big man. <laughs> Catch you. Oh, you know, Zach, I feel 18 all over again. I'm glowing. What's up with you? I feel old. Oh, you'll never be old, Zach Dingle. Not my big man. Uh, no. Don't you dare try and tell me a mistake or any of that stuff. I weren't. This last night with you, it made me think, yes, I can be happy again. Zach? No, I need some fresh air. Is that for me? Ta. Ollie, I'm off. Shh. Got any plans or are you just going to watch cartoons all day? Don't be stupid. This finishes in 20 minutes. You can't spend your whole holiday sitting around watching TV. Why are you bothered you're at work? It's not like you've taken any time off this Easter. Do you want me breathing down your neck all holiday? No. Fine, but you're 14, Ollie. You can't just fritter your life away watching kids' telly. Well, if you got digital, I'm sure there's some dodgy adult stuff I could watch. Ollie! Well, I thought you'd be pleased. At least if I'm watching telly, I'm not getting into trouble, eh, Mum? What about you? What? Giving up on the garden. Ha uh ha. -huh. Are you just going to sit here all day reading the paper or are you going to get things sorted up at the haulage? Angie. I can't pay the mortgage for this place on my own, Sean. You keep going on at me, but you don't give me any clue as to what I'm actually supposed to do. If Chris Tate really is trying to set you up as some kind of fool guy, you've got to get back on that board, whatever it takes. Angie. You can't just sit there with the words, prosecute me, my own company won't touch me with a barge pole stamped on your head. I am not apologising, no way. Aren't you the man of principles? Well, you two, shut up! I'm trying to watch the telly. Ollie? She's giving you grief and all, Dad. Leave it, Ollie. Right. I'm off. Where are you going? Down the haulage yard. Happy. <laughs> Hello, darling. <laughs> What are you doing? Playing happy families? Hey, Zach, I I'm sorry to have to ask you this. Does Lisa know you're here? It's all right, Rebecca. I'm just... No, Daddy'll be back in a minute, my little darling. I'll just be two ticks. You get back to your tea party. Zach. I'm bored. Well, come on, help me find the corner pieces. They are right there. Bored. Right, well, what do you want to do then? I want to ride my bike. Robert? What? How do you fancy teaching your sister to ride her two wheeler? What, now? Yep, now. I'm halfway through the level. If I stop now, I'll have to do it all again. You haven't been off that machine since school broke up. How can't Andy do it? He's helping Daddy. Well, I could always get you to swap with Andy. No, thanks. Right, well, it's one or the other. Robert, next time you're sick, you can fend for yourself. Don't ask for any help from me. Oh, all right. Zach. Leave me alone. I will leave you alone if that's what you really want. It is. But some awful things have happened in this village because I didn't take the time or the trouble to make sure that people could talk to me if they needed to. I'm not about to chop myself, if that's what you're thinking. I, I'm not thinking anything. I'm just here to listen. Look, Picker, it's no to do with you. If my life's a mess, it's no one's fault but mine. And no one can put it right but me. Actually, no. A terrible thing has happened to your family, totally beyond your control. There's nothing wrong in looking for help. That's enough. OK. I'm just here to see my little girl. That's all. Men. Is this men as in men generally or men as in Ashley? Both. I've been thinking about it, you know, and I think you should go for it. Actually, Trisha, it's none of your business. All right. No need to bite my head off. Nothing's going to happen, OK? You haven't given him the brush off, have you? I don't want to talk about it, all right? Kathy, could I talk to you for a moment? Um, I'm a bit tied up right now, Alan. I resigned from my post as estate manager at Home Farm this morning. 
Really? The, the, the thing is, I, I haven't been sleeping very well since the accident, and I realise that I, I just can't go on as if nothing's happened. You must feel very angry. Yes, I do. I don't think the grief and the shock and, well, the guilt is going to go away until I have some sense of who's responsible for all this. Oh, Alan. I'm fond as I am of Zoe. There's, there's no way I can go on working for her. You need to take it easy. Well, I, I wanted to help you with, with your campaign. Yeah? And have you been having trouble getting in touch with members of the Highway Committee? I think it'd be easier getting hold of MI5. Well, Kenneth Eccleston is a member of that committee. Well, he was supposed to ring me three days ago. I still don't know if he's coming to the meeting or not. I used to know him quite well in the old days. Perhaps I could pull a few strings. Oh, Alan, that'd be excellent. I tell you, Sean, you don't scare easily, but I'm dreading that meeting Thursday. You don't have to say anything. It's tight haulage people want answers from. I mean, technically speaking, I'm the one who's up to his neck in it. But what if they ask about the truck? What shall I say? Just tell people the truth. You know they trust you. Do they? Yes. If I could up and leave, I would. No, I don't think so. What are you going to do? Did Butch like daffodils? I don't know. But I do. Butch like me. So I know he like these. Right. Yeah. You know what you said the other day? What about? About praying and no one being there. Yeah. That, that's the point. What is? All this stuff happens. Really terrible and that. And you pray and pray and no one's there. You see, it's like a test. C can you take it all and still believe in him? Even if it looks like he's deserted you? If you can, then... Well... Y you get your reward in heaven. And that. Well, if that's what God's up to, then I'm sick of him. Actually, all that weren't my idea. It, it, it was prison chaplain. I thought it might cheer you up. I know. I'm Sean. I've been thinking about what you said. What's this? Sean told me his theory about Chris interfering with safety procedures. I can't prove it. You challenged him about it? I can just see Chris Tate admitting to something that caused the death of four innocent people. Come to the meeting. Tell the village. No way. Why should you and Lisa take the blame? If there's questions to be answered, then let's hear them. You ask him. Sean, it won't mean anything coming from me. You were on the inside. Hang on, Cathy. Even I know Sean can't start attacking his own company. But that's the whole point. Chris is using this whole thing to kick you out of Tate Haulage. I can't believe you're just going to sit there and let him do it. I'm not. Then this is your chance to fight back. Show the village you're on our side. Show us you want to be honest and open and that under you, Tate Haulage will be a firm we can trust. Chris's position will become untenable. I wish. It's a gamble, yes. But the bottom line is, you didn't go into business to be called a murderer, did you? What more can I say, Sean? At the end of the day, you just have to follow your own conscience. So, uh, how can I help you, Tricia? Well, I think you know what I've come here about. I can guess. I don't mean to interfere or nothing, it's just... Well, I think Benice is making a big mistake. Um... She said it's none of my business, but it is my business. She's been fantastic to me, a real friend. Like a sister, really. And sometimes I've been a right cow to her. Well, as you know. 
So I reckon I owe it to her. This is very sweet of you, but I don't think there's anything either you or I can do about how she feels. Well, that's just it. I think you're wrong. She won't talk about it. Well, you, with me. And that's unusual, really. It's not like Bernice. She's been so touchy. I bet you a million pounds she really does fancy you. I don't think so. It's just she doesn't trust any bloke right now. She's bottling it because she's scared of getting hurt again. It's like... It's like she's got a great big bruise over her heart. What I'm trying to say is that you mustn't give up. Oh, bless you, Trish. What you're saying, um, you can't imagine how much I wish it were true. But Benice has made her feelings very clear. She doesn't want a relationship with me. And if I love her, and I do, and always will, I have to accept that. No, oh, please, Ashley. it's all right. I'm getting used to the idea. The less people say, the better. I just need some time to adjust. No. There's no point in hoping for something that can never happen. You're such a lovely bloke, Ashley. I wish I had someone to love me as much as you love, Bernice. I'll see myself out. trying to contact Councillor Eccleston. My name's Cathy Glover. Cathy? Uh, uh, Kenneth? Alan Turner, you old rogue. Where have you been all my life? Kenneth, I I'd like you to meet Cathy Glover. Cathy, this is Councillor Eccleston. So, you are the fearsome damsel been leaving all the messages on the answer phone. Yes, that was me. You have a very alluring telephone voice. My humble apologies for not getting back to you. So, will you be coming to the meeting on Thursday? Of course. It must have been a terrible thing for you. For the old village. I was appalled and shocked. After all, I'd known Bob Simmons for nigh on 20 years. I would like to meet with you in private as well. I've got a folder full of proposals I'd like to put to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll arrange something ASAP. I've got a dash. I feel a disability working party calling me. Don't leave us alone next time, Alan. Lovely to meet you. Happy? Yes, very. Chris won't be, but then that's the general idea. This chap. Hey, you two. What? Come watch Victoria on a bike. She can ride two wheeler. I've taught her. I'm working. Yeah, and I've been looking after her. That ain't work. Yes, it is. You won't get anything done if I weren't keeping her happy. <laughs> That's what your mum's been trying to tell me for I don't know how many years. Yeah, you big woman. Fuck off. Hey, hey, come on. Let's take a break and go and have a look at this champion cyclist. See ya. How are you going on, Jack? I've been wanting a word with you, if you're in the mood. Well, if you want to come on like a flaming social worker, you can go straight back to that bar. Do you count poaching as social work? Well, game stocks are high, I'd heard. Been a warm winter. Do you fancy it, man? I can almost feel the blood flowing in my veins again. So I win. About. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want your explanations. I don't want your apologies. I just want you to go. Go on. 
Charming. I thought you'd be pleased to see me. You go waltzing off. Barely a word in three weeks. I was upset, worried, hurt, angry. You look great. You can't get round me like that. Can I? No. I've really missed you. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the postcard. The one, that postcard. Yeah, well, I was angry with you too. You drive me crazy the way you go around treating people. Pete was my mate and all you can think about is yourself and your precious company. That's what it's like when you have money. You run businesses, you have responsibilities. If you can't stomach that, then maybe we are a lost cause. No. This isn't going to be the last time it happens. When I calmed down a bit, I thought, I can't bring Pete back. Yeah, I'm really racked off with you, but... I... But? But I... You what? I really want to be with you. Oh. Big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal, actually. I don't know, I was away trying to have fun and all, and all I could think of was I wanted to come home. Oh, this is home now, is it? Sure. Anyway, you need me. I need you. Yeah, you need me to tell you which way around the world should be. Don't patronise me. Makes a change, eh? You are trouble. But you fancy me. Just. Hi. Hello, Angie. What can I get you? Nothing, thanks. I'm looking for Sean. Oh, we just missed him. It's about, what, 20 minutes ago? Before now. Did he say where he was going? Um, I can't say I remember. He was in here all afternoon, though. Really? Thank you, Tricia. Yeah. Thanks. Angie? Hello. Can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Any news on the accident report? Even if I knew, I couldn't tell you. Plus the fact I'm off duty, it's been a long day, and I'm trying to find my husband. Well, I think he's being really brave. Is this Sean you're talking about? Well, with him on our side, it makes it very hard for Chris to start dodging questions at the meeting tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, if a Tate Hallish director thinks information has been withheld... He has been taken off the board. Yeah, but he's still a major shareholder. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really need to find Sean. You know, family stuff. Yeah, OK. Sorry. See you. I'm bushed. Hard day. Well, actually, <laughs> it was great. Andy was fantastic. And Robert turned up trumps too. I don't know what we'd have done without him looking after Victoria. Took a lot of persuading. <sighs> well, you'd have been proud of him. Victoria's finally got the stabilisers off her bike. And, you know, I think Robert might just have enjoyed himself, although I don't think he'd admit it for a second. <laughs> it's not such a party when you've got to do it every day and everyone takes you for granted. Oh, I don't know. He's a proper little feminist. <laughs> he might have a bit of competition there in the old martyr stakes. That's funny, is it? <laughs> no. It's just... encouraging. Everyone working together, everyone pulling together, trying to make the farm a success. Pulling together. <sighs> oh, come on, Sarah. <coughs> Be happy for me, eh? Just for tonight. It's the first time in ages I didn't feel like I was on my own. Yeah, yeah, of course, it's great. Richie back? Oh, uh, I don't think so. You will be able to get me to that meeting, won't you, Jack? It's important that we're there. I don't know if Kathy's going to be able to achieve anything, but I want to be there. I want to look Chris Tate in the eyes. <sighs> Jack? Hi. You want some? Successful day up at the yard. No, oh, you know, slow but sure. You are pathetic. What? What have I done now? Sean. <sighs> okay, I didn't go to the yard. Didn't feel right. 
And what's this about you supporting Cathy Glover's campaign against Tate Hawley? No, I never actually said... Well, she seems to think you're backing her all the way. I suppose I should have been suspicious when she described you as brave. Yeah, well, maybe it's about time I did do something brave. I mean, it's not just me Chris is trying to destroy. Lisa Dingle's gonna lose everything. Why are you worrying about Lisa Dingle? Chris Tate sends Pete out in a dodgy lorry. And now Lisa believes he'd murdered her own stepson. I'm not a sentimental man, but that does bother me. I don't want to know. Angie. So, you prove that Chris was somehow responsible for the accident instead of you. What then? It won't be just Chris that takes the fall. Tate Haulage goes down the tube. Your operator's licence goes down the tube. No one will touch you with a second-hand transit van, let alone a 24-ton truck. Then what happens to us? No money, no house, and no family. There are grieving people out there who need to know the truth. I can help them. I'm sorry. Did I miss something? Since when did you become the people's saviour? Yeah. Well, maybe for once in my life I want to do the right thing. Oh, yeah. I'm impressed. Your nobility's awesome. But for Lisa Dingle... Why not? These are the people that stole from us the day we first moved in. They're trouble. What? Look, I'm not saying don't go to the meeting. Oh, I thought you wanted me to keep me trap shut. If you're on the floor of that meeting, supporting the line from Tate Haulage, what's it going to look like? A sellout. No. It'll prove that, despite everything, you're still loyal to the firm. There's no way they can keep you off the board after that. Um, what about the village? And what about my... <laughs> our reputation? What about my conscience? This isn't about conscience. You only want to support Cathy Glover to spite Chris, Laura and Zoe. <laughs> you said you don't want to apologise. This way you get back where you belong with your precious pride intact. Plus you keep your stake in the company secure. I hate this. Yeah. Life stinks. But this is life, Sean. Our life. Ollie's, Mark's, yours and mine. You're not stupid. You know what you've got to do.